What's up, YouTube? It's DIY the Grappler. Man, I messed up. I gotta share my story. I messed up the slab. Um, it all started, you know, two days ago. You know, I was doing the deal. Same thing. You see my last video. You know, you see my last video doing the deal. You know, boom, regular schedule program. You know, hitting the screening, the rolling, the compacting, the burlap, you know, uh, the edger. You know, I just started using the edger. Everything was looking great. Pitcher framed it was looking good um you know was proud of my little my little you know artwork right here you know what i'm saying i, I was happy with it you know and that was my last one the one i just recently made a video on was happy you know regularly scheduled deal hitting the misting um look good i was like okay all right you know it's it's you know it's it's what it is you know what i'm saying I, I was like this time maybe i'm not gonna grind off the corners everything's gonna look good like i did on the last one don't grind off the corners and we're looking good you know what i'm saying i'm like you know i appreciate all the comments i appreciate all the support so i was like yeah you know boom well i got a little ahead of myself so what i did if you notice i'm going hard right here this is where the issue was i was going hard Meanwhile, under that burlap towel, I didn't miss it enough. I didn't miss it enough. I missed it like once or twice. I thought I was ahead of the game. My head's getting a little too big. The the water's doing a number on my dry pour right here. You know, right under there. I don't even know. I'm like, yeah, I'm all good. I'm all good. Meanwhile, under the under the burlap, it's just going down in Chinatown. Uh, yeah. 24 hours later, boom, I go to take it off. I'm like, look at my artwork, and it looks like Buddy from the Goonies. So I was like, no, what just happened, you know? And at this point, I'm a little confused at the same time. I'm like, where did I go wrong? What's going on? Like, you know, I'm trying to look at all the steps. I'm like, okay, I did all the steps that I normally do that I learned from everybody else. But I'm like, okay, focus. I got to get back. It is what it is. It's spilt milk. Let's get back. Let's figure out a plan. Let's uh, do what we got to do to get it done. Boom. You know what I'm saying? If you can kind of, you know, read between the lines there, I was like, all right, this ain't my first rodeo, so let's start getting after it. So, boom, man, that burlap. Yeah, I, so I chipped off the top, but it wasn't going nowhere. I'm like, man, this is, I burlapped it too much. It's hard. It's getting hard. So this is what the end result was. After chipping and chipping and chipping, I got off you know, somewhat of the top layer here, I actually had to raise the form up slightly so I can go ahead and resurface this. This ain't my first rodeo. I thought I was just over the resurfacing. And um, yeah, I had to use that demolition bar right here. It was trying to dig deep inside there, chip off what I could so I can go and resurface it. The top was actually so strong. And like you said, I got kind of now, you see, I kind of get to the concrete, but it was so strong. I was like, it wasn't going anywhere. And I was, I was really trying to tip chip off that a huge big part of the top layer so I can get down there and resurface it better. So I was like, you know what? Let's get back to the grind here. Let's start, start doing our regular schedule program. I thought we were done with this. Hit the sand mix, hit the good old screeding. Had to raise up the form a little bit to, to get a solid resurface and then boom. Back to this wasn't my proudest, you know, work here. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to hurry up before it cured even further. It was it was strong. So I guess that's some good news about it. When I was trying to take that top layer off, I was having some issues. You know, I was having some issues. And, it, you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, it's not the greatest. It isn't my best work. But, you know what I'm saying? Um, it ain't too bad. You know what I'm saying? But it isn't. It wasn't ideal for me you know, to have to do this. Cause I did it before my first, my first slab. That's what I had to do. My second slab. That's what I made a video of that one. Also resurfacing. Good news is I went ahead and uh, said, F it. Let me go ahead and um, push forward. You know, if you guys see in the background, I got my, uh, my good old, my good old player hat on the, if you can see in the, look in the shadow right there, my little player hat. It's hot out here in Florida, man. I got to do what you got to do. But uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, I went ahead and um, resurfaced that, which I didn't really want to do. You know, I was kind of forced to do it. And, you know, it kind of sucks because everybody's like, man, oh, it's, you know, my head got a little big. Oh, it's going so good. Look, it's going so great. And oh, look, your stuff looks so good. And then behind the scenes is just ridiculous. So I went ahead and, uh, you know, grinded down the edges, you know, of these three. Use the angle grinder. You got your good old brick. And I, I bought that sanding stone and some good old off if you're here in Florida. Um, grinded down the edges. And I went ahead and painted it with some concrete paint. You know, some good old concrete paint. Started making the pathway. They're all the same color now. Looking good. You know, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy about it. 
And uh, that's it. You know, now I got the that last slab. I resurfaced it. It's burlap curing. I actually took the forms off to make sure everything was good. Still solid. I'm going to have to go and grind down the edges. The edges actually don't look that bad, to be honest. I didn't get to edge it, but the edges don't look that bad. So anyway, uh, like I said in, in previous videos, man, I'm really not here trying to deceive anybody. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly. I know people really like, you know, the way, the way I learned it from other people, but they like the way I did it. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I just had to let everybody know like hey man i messed it up i messed up so where i went wrong was i missed it once or twice and then put the burlap on there too soon you know it was too soon um yeah so anyway i use this paint right here this concrete paint i you know put a few coats on there but yeah i'm not trying to deceive anybody and the mistake i made was everything was fresh just like it normally is missed it once or twice i felt it but it was so compacted that it was hard but what happened was it really wasn't hard it was just so compacted that it felt hard that i missed it once or twice put the burlap on there or the towel started spraying it it, it ate it up my it ate up my uh my dry pour and it really wasn't all that bad to be honest honest wasn't super bad but um wasn't really what I was looking for. So here's a little honest story. I messed it up. You know, I came back, I fixed it. And uh, yeah, man, I'm only human, you know. Good luck on your future projects. Thanks for watching. Peace.